If I come in, don't be shy, don't be shy, come on in. Everyone who don't know me, my name is Gilbert Dent. And um, I found out maybe about four days ago, I was sending out an invite to all you all to be here to um, come here to get with Marcus and celebrate Marcus and to push Marcus for this endeavor that he's going to become. Uh, the House of Delegates, uh, uh, Delegates for the State of Maryland in the 45th District. Now, I'm Marcus' father, obviously. <laughs> and it's kind of crazy and ironic, but I was just here last weekend to celebrate my daughter's uh, graduation for a master's degree, and then I look at my Facebook, which I'm going to stop looking at, to find out I got to come right back three days later, you know? But um, just a little bit about Marcus. He is a dynamic individual. Yes, sir. Dynamic. And it starts from the day that he was born. Um, Marcus was born um, right around the corner at Mercy's Hospital, and I remember when he came out, my whole life changed. <laughs> Because it was no longer me, it was no longer his mother, you know, two adults, able to do things together but survive apart. You know, we had an individual that collectively we had to deal with together. So, with that being said, and oh, another point I got to make right off the bat is he came out talking. So, you know, <laughs> Okay. He was a fast talker, slow walker. <laughs> you know? So that's how Marcus showed up here. But he's always been a community advocate, you know. I can remember, I think it was his third birthday. We had planned a little thing, just a little family in that little kitchen, a little cubby hole, you know, to have a little cake and ice cream. This dude goes to the neighborhood and tell everyone to come to his backyard, he had a party. <laughs> okay? So that's, that's the community in there. I remember talking to his fourth grade teacher and he said, one day, you know, you're going to be the mayor of Baltimore. You know, Miss Shula told him that, that he's going to be the mayor of Baltimore. I ain't paying any attention to it. But the thing is, he got up to a school, he went to a prep school with, you know, with Donald D. White's prep school. He went there and then ended up being like the mayor of his class, so to speak, you know? He just coming to do his Marcus thing. Let's hear so I want to thank everyone from, for coming. I want to thank uh, my young Morgan students that just graduated. I want to thank uh, all my co-workers from Tass College that uh, have always supported me and they came out this evening. I appreciate it. I want to thank all my friends that came out, all my friends that have supported me uh, since I started this journey. I want to thank you all. I want to thank my family, my father, my grandmother, my mother, my aunts, uh, my uncles, my entire family that supported me from day one on this journey. I want to definitely thank my family. I know a lot of you have seen some of the work I've done in the community. A lot of you have seen some of the things that I'm capable of, but this is not a one-man show. This is a team, so I definitely want to thank my team, who I know I get on their nerves, I know I do things that they don't like, but we all strive for the same goal, and I thank my team who missed it. We're in the home stretch of this campaign. We have 31 days left until Election Day. A lot of you who have lived in the 45th District have already received your ballots. I'm number two on your ballot. Don't pass me up. Don't pass me up. I'm right there. The 45th District right now, we're in a state of influx. We need new leadership. We yes. need fresh ideas. Yes, sir. We need yes. Go up there. Town pavement. Yes. 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 Right now in the Oliver community, we're number 14. Number 14 in the United States for crime, drug addiction, and sexually transmitted diseases. Number 14 in the entire state. Nationally, we're number 13. 
That's amazing to me. I live in the Oliver community. I live on Carolina Chase Street. You know, we go up to Sedona, we go to Bella Edison. All these neighborhoods are part of our district. All these neighborhoods have different issues. I'm a dynamic leader, and I'm the one who can tackle those issues in a way that the community, the state, and the federal government all can work as one. My father talked about how I can go out and get everyone together. Rally the troops, so to speak. That comes from my Air Force background. I'm able to go out and dynamically lead through strategic partnerships. And that's one of the things that I plan to do once I get down to Annapolis. Right now, with our current state legislators, they like to boast about the $1 billion that they have in schools. I want to make sure that $1 billion is properly allocated to the schools that it's supposed to be allocated to. So one of the first things I do when I get in office, I want to go ahead and do an audit. I want to audit all these agencies to make sure, hey, if you say you're giving money for basketball, I want to see the basketball. Come on. I want to see it go in the hoop. Speak I on it. I want to see these programs being enacted and not the money going to somebody else's pocket or some contractor. Come on. That. So that's one of the first things I do when I get down to that. One of the second things I do is I want to make sure we focus on crime reduction and focus on our recidivism rate. Our young black males are going in and out of jail like it's a thoroughfare. I hate to see that. Put a dent in it. And the only way, the only way we're going to be able to conquer this, 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 this horrible dichotomy is we have to have strategic partnership. We can say, hey, we're going to go into the jails, get these young individuals trained, so when they come out, there's something good to come home to. There's something good to come home to. They have family to come home to, support them to come home to. Most importantly, what they need to come home to is a job, uh, a career. We have 31 days left, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we're looking very good in the polls, but we still have a lot of work to do. I'm going to need volunteers on election day. I'm going to need more donations. I'm going to need more help. It's going to take all of us in this room collectively to take back the 45th district, to take back our communities, and have something good for our kids to come home to each and every day. I hope that you continue to stand with me, continue to fight with me, and I'll be there to lead you all. Thank you very much. Oh